Hi, this is Gwen from The Bold Abode, and today I am going to show you how to make an animated GIF. GIF. It's pronounced GIF. Um, so anyway, I'm starting in Lightroom, which is a really easy way to edit your photos, so I, I highly recommend you're checking it out. But so what I have is I have my um, all my photos here that I'm editing, and I've got several that I want to make an animation out of, so I don't have 35 photos on the blog. So I'm choosing, I'm going to show, show, show you how to make this one where I'm rolling at the tissue paper. So I'm going to select my first photo, and then I'm going to go all the way down to where I finish with the rolling part, which is right here. Okay, so now I'm going to go up to photo, and I'm going to select edit in, and then choose open as layers in Photoshop. And this is probably going to take a second, so we'll just sit here and be patient as it opens, because it has to open every single, I'm just, okay, so this says the, this version of Lightroom may require the Photoshop Camera Raw plugin. I, don't, I haven't had a problem, so I'm just clicking open anyway. Um, so it's going to take a while to open in Photoshop because it has to open each individual photo as a layer. So this is going to take some time. But if you don't have Photoshop or Lightroom, then I highly recommend you're going to Adobe and you can download a trial version for 30 days, I think. Um, but they do, have, I think it's very reasonable. I think it's like $9.99 a month to use it. And it's, I use it all the time. I couldn't live without Lightroom or Photoshop. So if you don't have it, then go at least download a trial and you'll know how to do this then when you get there. So it's taking just a few minutes. We're just gonna watch it. It should be almost done. So you can see it flashing over to the right. And you can kind of see how many layers there are. There should only be just a few more photos. You can see down at the bottom of the screen, I already have the timeline fields open. I'm going to show you where to open that because that's what's going to create our animation. So as soon as we're done opening all of these files. In just a minute. Or two. Or three. Now we're done. Okay, so if this were not there, okay, so it's not there, I'm going to come up to Window, and then I'm going to select Timeline, and then it'll pull that back up. So then I'm going to click this button here that says Create Frame Animation. And it pulls in the first frame, but obviously we want all of the frames. So I'm going to say Make, choose Make. I'm going to come back over here to the corner and choose Make Frames from Layers. And then that will add in all of the layers. But then we have a problem because it's going to get, if we make our GIF from this setup, our frames are going to be backwards, which we do not want. So we're going to come in here and we're going to reverse frames. And that will get us all the frames in the correct order. So now I want to select all of my frames because I'm going to go down here and set how long I want each image to show. I find that a half a second works well with this type of uh, animation because I want it to almost look like a video. Then I'm going to come down here to where it says once and I'm going to click forever. You can choose it to, wrote, to play through three times, once or forever. For the blog I like to do forever because they may want to come back up and watch it again, maybe. So then we're basically done. You can, you can come down here and play it just to double check and make sure it is going to play correctly. And it's looking very good to me. Rolling it all the way up and we're done. Okay, so it'll just keep going and going and going. But now we need to save it. So now I'm ready to save my image and it's very large. So I'm gonna come up to image, to image size and I'm going to change the um, 
dimensions of my image. I want it to be 700 pixels wide because that's as large as my content is on my blog. So I'll click OK and it will change the image size. It usually doesn't work this slow. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe I need to restart my computer. So I'm going to command plus to get it to increase in size. And now I can save it. So I'm going to go up here and save for web, or you can use the shortcut on your PC or your Mac. And the shortcut is just shift command alt S, I think. Okay, so now we want to make sure that it's labeled GIF because if it saves as any other image file, it won't show the animation. If I leave everything at its default, it's fine, and I'm going to click Save. And then it will save our animate, animated GIF, and it will be very cool. Okay, so I'm going to save it as well. Oops. click save and there you go I'm gonna go over you can see where I've already added the other gif that I made earlier today so that's all you have to do is add it to your blog and voila you'll be ready to go I think it's very cool because it's not it's not like making a video exactly but you get the same results without um, having to deal with the video camera so I enjoy making them, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.